Hi everyone, Hannah here. Welcome back to my channel for another video. And today is a seasonal tag video. And as per normal, I have not been tagged to do this video. However, I will be tagging three amazing channels at the end of this video um, to do this tag as well. So yes, I'm doing the Christmas tag. And I liked this version of the tag that I found um, because, sorry, the questions are on my phone. Because it is asking some questions that I'm not doing in my um, sit down series to start Vlogmas off with. So yeah, I thought that was really good. So yeah, with that in mind, let's get into the questions. Question one, favorite holiday colors? Definitely silver. I don't know, with that I'd have to say maybe red? Red and silver I think work well. And obviously red and green always go well together, but they are very Christmassy Christmas colours. So, I don't know, I don't like always be completely obvious. But I guess it would be a combination of those three. Silver, red and green. Question two. Biggest holiday pet peeve. Happy holidays. That is seriously something that, I don't know why, but it really does nurk me. For me personally, it's Merry Christmas or Happy Halloween. Yeah, saying Happy Holidays just, or Happy Christmas as well. Just, mm, yeah, I don't know why, but they just bug me. Question three, do you plan ahead or procrastinate? A bit of both. In regards to gifts, I'll plan ahead and I'll make sure I know what I've got, what I've spent and all of this. Um, normally we don't decide what we're eating until the week before Christmas. Um, and setting the house up, that doesn't happen until either the weekend before or the weekend after the 10th of December, whichever the 10th is closest to. Um, and that is when we will decorate our tree, we will decorate the house um, and things. And this year, that falls on a Sunday. That falls in five days, so I have to to shake my tail feather to make the living room suitable to be able to put our tree up. That's what my thing is because my living room is still a mess and still has some boxes that haven't been unpacked in it. Oops. Um, question four. How old were you when you stopped believing in Santa? I honestly don't know. I can't remember how old I was. However, I do remember exactly how I didn't believe anymore. I woke up one night um, to open my eyes to see my mother filling my stocking in the room in which I was sleeping and then tiptoeing back out. That's when I stopped believing in Santa, but I couldn't tell you how old I was. Question five. Favourite classic and new holiday? Um, I don't actually get what this question means. No, nope. very, very confused by that question. So, yeah. I'm just going to smile. <laughs> um, question six, favorite Christmas tradition? That to me would be the waiting till whichever weekend it was or closest to the date to decorate the tree. Because then from when the tree was up is when Christmas really kicked in and that is what I've kept with in this house. Well, I say this house, for my family is also what um, I've kept with and things. So yeah, that has to be my favorite Christmas tradition because we make a whole day of it. Sometimes a weekend, depending on if we started on the Saturday, and then it kept going over the Sunday. But yeah, it was, we'd literally turn the music full pelt, dig through all of the Christmas boxes and decide what we were doing with everything for that year. So yeah. Question seven, real or fake tree? Fake tree hands down fake tree it still can make as much mess as a real tree um but it i just i find them so much easier i always have and since i've had kids and things a fake tree yeah we have to downgrade the size of our tree this year unfortunately because our new living room won't fit our six foot christmas tree not with everything else we've got in there so we're gonna have to downgrade to a much much smaller christmas tree so 
there are loads and loads of decorations that are not going to be going on the Christmas tree. Question eight, when do you put the tree up and take it down? As I said, I put the tree up round the the 10th of December as close to that as I can and I will take it down the evening slash stupid dark a.m. of the 31st of December and the 1st of January. Um, I am one of these people that Christmas is December. So yeah, fairy lights, fairy lights might stay up for a little while if I've had them around a wall or things like this. Um, but all other actual Christmas decorations, they'll come down. Question nine, favourite holiday cookie or treat? Gingerbread man. Just gingerbread then in any other shape. I've got some cutters downstairs, so we're going to end up making some gingerbread trees, gingerbread reindeer as well, and a Santa, I think we have. So, yeah, obviously you can buy gingerbread. Most, like all the way through the year, but it just seems more appropriate in December. Question 10. What's at the top of your tree? It's a star. It is a silver star that has some matching silver snowflakes that get scattered over my tree. My mother's was an angel, and we still have the angel, but because of how old it is and how delicate it is, we don't put it on the tree. Question 11. Do you decorate outside? No. Not really. We will decorate the windows, um, like put stick on snowflakes, and we still have a plug-in snowman, I think, hiding somewhere, unless you've lost it in the move, um, that will go up in our windows. Um, but aside from that, we don't really decorate outside the front of the house, no. And the last question, question 12, what did you always wish for but never got? I honestly... In all fairness, mine is a very mundane thing. When I was a kid, my parents broke up and I wished for them always to get back together. But then, of course, as I grew up, that never happened. So I think, aside from that, I can't think of anything else because my Christmases were always really good. And if I threw a strop, I quickly got put in my place. Um, so, yeah, I don't actually... I can't think of anything that is like that at all. I'm guessing that's a good thing. Possibly. Or it just proves that I'm a spoiled brat. Not sure which. But yeah. So, they were my answers to um, this little Christmas tag that I found. Thank you so much for watching. The channels that I tag to do this one next is the Frey family. They do daily family vlogs. The Buchanan family. And Still Image Productions. I am subbed to all of them and I do love watching their videos. I will leave their channel links down below in the description box and if you came over to watch this tag from, well, from their videos, then hi, welcome. My name's Hannah and I'm doing Vlogmas this year so please hit that subscribe button and the bell so you know when each of my videos go live. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will catch you guys tomorrow. Bye.